Black, welcome to well, the studio. Andrew, let's like, can it, do your intro, intro me in. Oh, uh, well, well, when, you know what it is, it's from my auction spill. Oh, good. Well, the top of the day to you, ladies and gentlemen, bidders and spectators alike, and welcome. Yes, welcome. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Andrew Morello. That's my opening spill in my auction. Fabulous. Well, yeah, get some all warmed up, get some all revved up out yeah, of the crowd. They're ready. It's called a thousand auctions. So, Andrew, I see you've brought in your item of significance. Can you tell us a little bit about what it is and how it connects to you with your community? Take it away. So, the item of significance is a um, is a canvas that was. Um, sorted out i don't actually know specifically who did but for my birthday so i went i won the apprentice in you know 2009 2010 i moved here but for 2010 march what actually happened was um all of the other contestants they all came and saw me for my birthday so these are the people i've beaten effectively like you know you would think they would not be happy but they were all very supportive um and then i've gone into business with blake I'm uh, still best mates with Adelaide, who's your South Australian representative. Uh, I'm actually friends with all of them still. She just recently got married to one of my friends. Um, she's moved back to New Zealand. So I'm actually friends with all of them, but they got me this canvas, man, and, and, you know, the ones that were there on the day signed it. But uh, I keep it up at home. It was a turning point in my life. It was an exciting thing. It was, it made me move to Sydney. So, it, you know, effectively opened my eyes to much bigger and better things. I was the simple boy from Mooney Ponds back then, so. So you've been doing a bit of work with upcoming entrepreneurs through the Entourage. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? We don't see um, Entourage, so Jack is our, our founder. I'm one of the founding members, and we, we never talk about it as a business. We actually always talk about it as a community. So, um, you know, and in the early days, we, we still don't treat it like a business. In the early days, we didn't treat it like a business, and it was hard because, you know, everybody was all about dollar productive, you know, stuff and making money and you've got to make sales, but we really stuck to our, our core values. Um, and, you know, for a long time, we, you know, Jack and I did everything for free. And we, we still don't pull a lot of money out of the business. We just, you know, we, we reinvest into the asset. We've got 100 staff there now. So there's, there's probably two communities, effectively. There's the community of the entrepreneur that we're trying to encourage this, um, you know, challenge the status quo, get out there, try new things, um, you know, work together, collaborate, you know, lean startup, you know, just, you know, work in a, in a, in a hub or something like that, one of those entrepreneurial hubs. Then there's the other part, which is that we're trying to help um, people that want to be a part of something uh, that want to come and work with the entourage, building a community around that where they can be the best they can possibly be and support other people because we're all different. We all take nourishment in different ways. Andrew, can you share with me your be the drop tip? Um, I think uh, for anybody, it's, it's more is lost with indecision than wrong decision. So I think because we have so much choice growing up in a Western culture, um, we don't make decisions. And then when we make decisions, we always question them. If you're gonna fail, fail fast and have another crack. You know, there's nothing wrong with failure as long as you see it as a stepping stone to success.